Amor. Amor, which is Leviticus, uh, Leviticus chapter 21, verse 1, all the way up through chapter 24 and 23. And so, uh, when we look at the chapter here, it begins with the title, the word, a more, and he spoke by a more, and he spoke uh, to Moses, oh, actually speak unto the Aaron and his sons, and say, speak and say. Say it says over in Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 1 and it begins to talk about um, continuing with the uh, instructions given to the uh, priests in regards to what was necessary for them in terms of holiness and it also not only speaking to the sons of Aaron but also speaking to the nation and the people as a whole. And so when we get over to chapter 23, we started talking a little bit about chapter 23 on Wednesday. Um, figured we'd look at that um, a little bit because we didn't get very far. We'll look at Leviticus chapter 23 a little, uh, read some discuss a little before we uh, go over into the New Testament. But I want to read, let's read together, uh, let's see, read for us Leviticus 23, uh, let's read, uh, let's see, 1 through 8, 1 through 8, Leviticus Leviticus 23, chapter, uh, chapter 23, verse 1. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, The appointed times of Yahweh, which you are, to proclaim as set-apart gatherings, my appointed times are these. Six days work is done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest, a set-apart gathering. You do no work, it is a Sabbath to Yahweh and all your dwellings. These are the appointed times of Yahweh, set apart gatherings, which you are to proclaim at their appointed times. Uh, in the first new moon, on the 14th day of the new moon, between the evenings is Pesach to Yahweh, or Passover. And on the 15th day of this new moon is a festival of Mizuk uh, to Yahweh. Seven days you eat unleavened bread. On the first day, you have a set apart gathering, you do no servile work, and you shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahweh for seven days. On the seventh day, in a set apart gathering, you do no servile work. Okay, very good. So, when we look at Leviticus 23, for those that um, observe the Feast of the Most High as we do, Leviticus 23 is kind of a uh, well known. Uh, chapter for us because it holds all of the set apart times of the Most High. Um, begins uh, as it goes having uh, Moses to say to the people and declare unto the people all of the appointed uh, appointments, the set apart times of the Most High. He, the Most High, he has these holy set apart days that he has declared to be holy and he gives us a uh, list of those days right here. So it begins in verse, uh, verse three where it talks about Shabbat, HaShabbat. It is the Sabbath. Six days you do all of your work and you rest on the Shabbat. Not only do you rest, you rest, you do no work, and you also have a set apart gathering. And so we talked a little bit about that on uh, 
Wednesday in our midweek Torah class. Hopefully everyone tunes in to our midweek Torah class. We talked about Shabbat and the fact that it is this set-apart time. I don't think I mentioned, but I'd like to mention that Shabbat is the first thing said to be sanctified in the Bible. When you talked about the word uh, you know, sanctified or something being sanctified, nothing is called set apart, uh, dedicated unto holy purposes before Shabbat. Uh, which, you know, to me seems like it's kind of a important kind of a situation because, you know, we want to sit up here and talk about days and them being holy or whatever. Um, the Most High, when he decided to say that anything was set apart, he said that thing, this first uh, thing sanctified being the seventh day. And so it's, you know, it's of course, it's of course uh, something that we uh, deem uh, holy just because that's that's what he said, he called it. Yeah. And so he goes on in the chapter to talk about all of these set apart appointments. And so verse five, verse five, here, can you read verse five again for us? It says, in the first new moon or 14th day of the new moon, between the evenings is Pesach to Yahweh. Okay, very good. It's interesting that when we look at these feasts, it talks about Shabbat. It talks about Pesach. It talks about the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It talks about, uh, you know, first fruits are mentioned. Shavuot, Yom Teru, Yom Kippur, Sukkot. All of these days, it talks about these days as, as, you know, the ones that require it. It talks about having a set apart gathering. set apart gathering is attached to these things. However, Pesach is not part of this. Pesach is not part of this set apart gathering. Because Pesach is not a day. There's no Passover day. To some people, this is controversial right here. This is, I'm saying some things right here to some people. Not to me, it's, it's common knowledge to me, but to some people, this, what I'm talking about here, is, is cutting edge. It's controversial. There's no such thing as a Passover day. Passover is a moment in time. It's a section of time. It's a portion, it's a portion of a day. Passover is. Passover is the time that the Passover was dealt with. In this situation, the way that you dealt with the Passover is you kill it. The Passover is not a day, the Passover is a sacrifice. The Passover is the Passover lamb. And so if we remember where it talks about the Passover in the video, uh, Exodus chapter 12, you got your lamb on the 10th day, you held it until the 14th day at even, and then that's when you killed it. And so when we look over here in verse 5 of Leviticus uh, chapter 23, where it says in the first new moon, the first month, on the 14th day of that month, between the evenings is the Passover. Between the evenings is the Passover. So the day before, the 13th at even, when the day starts, the day starts in the evening. The day before is not the Passover. The Passover is not a whole 24 hour day. The Passover is a specific section within a day when the lamb was to be slain. It says it right there, between the evenings. That's the Passover. Is that just the daylight hours? 
Well, that's when you would kill it, right? Because you're killing, the, when you think about the initial Passover, they had to kill the Passover, they had to get the blood out, they had to put the lamb blood on the door, because at nighttime was when the, when the, the uh, death angel was coming. Right. And so when we think about what it is to be between the evenings, it's at the downfall of the sun. As the sun reaches its peak in the middle of the day, and it goes down through, you know, as we look at it, it goes down, that's when you kill the lamb. You had to kill the lamb. You had to, I don't know how long it, it takes to cook a whole lamb. Probably a good part of that time. Moses said three hours. <laughs> At least three hours. At least three hours. Right? And so that's the time for the killing of the lamb between the evenings. And that's when you kill it. And so it's interesting when we look at that, if you said the 14th day between the evenings and on the 15th day, uh, verse number six, is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It's right there. It's right there. If we understand how time goes, the 14th day between the evenings is moving into the 15th day. And so you don't have a day right there. You don't have a day right there. You have a moment in time. And, and uh, it, there's, a, there's a great majority of people, oddly enough, that that observe Passover as its own section, like its own thing, it's a whole day. But, you know, I don't, uh, we don't see that here. Well, it, it, if they're using the KJV version, I think that's where a lot of people will have a discrepancy because KJV verse five just says, in the 14th day of the first month at evening, is Yahweh's Passover. And then it just goes on to the next thing. So if you miss that, don't if your translation don't got that detail. Oh, you mean the between the evenings? You mean? Yeah. 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 Well, you need the you need to look at the at the Hebrew. Right. Yeah. So you That's miss it. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of uh, uh, so the, the, the I want to say that the majority of people who prescribe to a quote unquote early Passover. Their justification don't come from the Old Testament. It comes from the New Testament. Because they look at what Yeshua did. And when he kept that last Passover, he kept it before everyone else did. From the so-called Old Testament, there's no mention of the 13th day of the month at all. Which you need that. Yeah. in order to use it, I mean, in order to keep it the way that people do. There's no mention of the 13th day, you know, because of the way we keep days, if you're, if you're starting it at the evening, in order to, you, to, uh, to uh, observe Passover as a whole day, you gotta start at the 13th day at evening. But there's no instructions for that. And so, in from the Old Testament, I'm saying. And so, it's a it's a huge it's a huge kind of a I would say a misconception. But it says even until the 14th day. It's so when you're you keeping the lamb. Until the lamb on the 13th day. Yeah, you haven't. So that you be ready for you haven't the done 14th it. Day. Yeah, you you missed it right there. The um what what we have um. Some, some groups do, they do, they do it the day early, they do that as a shoe of the Lord. And if you call it that, I love they, it. They I call love it specifically. If you call it that. They're so specific. Yeah. They call it a shoe of the memorial, and that's when they do, they might, they might do like a communion ceremony. I'm saying if you call if you're calling it that and not the Passover, then that's one thing. And then the but next you can't day, call that Passover. Then the next day they do 
capacity. Yeah. Yeah. But that is a smaller group of people that I I don't know many people. I can think of the ones who do do that. Yes. And I, I understand that. Yes. I but understand that. Too. But for the vast majority of those who literally keep Passover as a day, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. And then there's also the question of people who do a day, do I begin, do I have an eight day of a love and bread feast? Or do I keep leaven after I do Passover? I have Passover and I have a whole day. I, I go to work even. Do I keep the leaven until the next evening or not? And we know <laughs> it gets people, confusing. We know it people on both confusing. sides of that. Yeah. We know people who do the, the early day and then they, but they do a whole eight days of unleavened bread instead of seven. Yeah. And then we know people who, they, they, they all have leaven in their house at Passover. They do Passover and then they get rid of their leaven the next day, which doesn't seem to me to follow along with the Passover account. No, there's no eight mentioned in piece of unleavened bread. There's no eight. So you shall eat. Lots of seven days. Seven days. Yes. And so, so well, it is an interesting thing, but and it's a it's a it's a continuing thing that's been going on as long as I can remember. Fourteenth and fifteenth controversy. Uh, it's, it's older than me. Not that old. Okay, so it goes on. It talks about the fifteenth day to, uh, well, it doesn't say the 21st day, but seven days from the 15th day is, in fact, uh, the 21st day gives us a piece of unleavened bread, which is, uh, oh, and the first and last day, it talks about the set of part gatherings. Um, from 9 to 14, it talks about first fruits. Um, which is not a set apart, there's no set apart gathering, it's just a marker in time to get you to Shavuot, which it talks about in verses 15 through 22. Um, if we go down, well, I don't want to go through all of these. We, we, I've spoken about all of these uh, in great length. Um, and refer back to the channel for the various uh, videos we have about uh, Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, and so on and so forth. Um, I just wanted to briefly uh, talk about uh, the beginning section of chapter 23. Um, there is much to be said about all of these days. Uh, we'll be talking some about uh, Shavuot, or actually on, on tomorrow because it is Shavuot. Um, all right, so does anybody have any thoughts, questions, or comments about any of these things before we go forward? 